it is a steamy one. Hey, it's Matt O'Leary, and today it's the prolific Kentuckian singer-songwriter and producer Jim James with his third full-length LP. This one's called Uniform Distortion. Of course, this guy is the front man for the famed rock band My Morning Jacket, an indie and alt-country heavyweight with a handful of really well-acclaimed albums and a near 20-year history of consistent releases and touring. You take the instrumental palette of Wilco, a little bit of the silliness of Dr. Dog, some of those southern Sunday morning harmonies of like a, a vet brand Brothers and voila, you got my money jacket. Beyond some of the genre shifting and experimentation on albums like Z or like Evil Urges, uh, Jim James is just towering tenor voice is really the highlight of any My Morning Jacket record. They're not really a band I've been able to get super into yet, and I feel like some of that is just, they, they have a lot of highly repetitive and very derivative chord progressions and songwriting. They actually uh, kind of remind me of the band Spoon in that way, very charismatic frontman, very uh, thoughtful lyrics and an ear-catching sound, but ultimately about four or five pretty unoriginal tunes on any given an album. So uh, I've been pretty hopeful about Jim James stripping the jacket and doing his own thing and following his own vision. The results so far, mm, kind of a mixed bag. Regions of Light and Sound of God from 2013 is a pretty good introduction to all the different styles you're going to get from this guy. It's a little bit scatterbrained and very eclectic. It's definitely got that tongue-in-cheek thing down pretty well with a song called Exploding, which is actually just a saccharine and sleepy little instrumental tune. While Eternally Even from 2016, the second album was more of a head trip with some slow, scuzzed out psychedelic passages and some really smooth soul moments as well. It was definitely more focused, but but still nothing that, that really enthralled me. I feel like a, a greatest hits playlist across this guy's career would be just perfect. If I had to narrow down just uh, kind of what I don't like about this guy's music to one bullet point. I feel like it'd be the songs just don't evolve as much as I want them to. You know, I, I feel like he has one great idea and he just hammers it home for a long time and it sort of loses its luster after a while. So now we got this album, Uniform Distortion, which is just a Shweep. I think the most salient feature of this album is it's not this carefully concocted studio production, studio masterpiece like you'd expect to hear from a producer. Like it's not going to sound like Eternally Even or The Waterfall. Like right away on Just a Fool you'll notice the, the vocals aren't as crisp, the guitar sounds like it was played through a first act brand amp you'd get at Walmart for your snotty 11 year old. It's really clear that, that Jim's going for that relatable simple man sound. There's a feature female vocal added in, in the chorus, which is sung in unison, and each verse just sounds identical to the last, and the chords sort of lazily vacillate between one and four. That one and four thing is really common, actually, and makes up a lot of the song out of time as well. And again, the guitar solo is just so tinny and, and so weak sounding, and I feel like it, it's very obvious that it was interpolated into the mix after the fact, rather than played live with the band. James is dull and, and soggy vocal production I think is supposed to make it sound more organic or more authentic, but it, it really does just the opposite for me. I feel like it's it's just overemphasized and it kind of gets distracting. Especially on cuts like Over and Over, which has a really fun 60s pop sound and a really nice melody, but it's like he took a big wool blanket and just tossed it over him on stage. It's just so muffled in a way that really takes the energy out. And not only is the recording raw and, and blemished, but the songwriting as well is, is very bare bones and, and rudimentary. A lot of the tracks just feel like one trick ponies and that trick is something we saw on all of Bob Dylan's records like 50 years ago. Like the simple blues progression on No Use Waiting, or that Motown harmony chorus on Better Late Than Never, or the very monotonous and righteous guitar solo on No Secrets. And do the songs You Get to Roam and, and No Use Waiting have almost exactly the same riff? A lot of these songs I feel like could just be turned up like 5 to 10 beats per minute to really get that reckless garage rock feel. You know, I, I've been pretty harsh on the album 
come so far. There are a couple redeeming moments where I feel like Jim's narrative really cuts through the fray. The song Throwback is like that. I feel like this one really focuses and gets at that tendency to get lost in the social media scrolling and all the memories at the expense of the current moment. I love that line, watch your face grow younger as real time runs out. And all the seventh chords in that song really encapsulate nostalgia. But for the most part, I'm, I'm just struck by how on an album that's supposed to have this raw energy and vigor, I'm just constantly impatient and wanting to skip to the next song in hopes of something deeper. There are a lot of cliches about time moving on and slipping by and running out, and those you know carefree mid-song laughs just feel a little bit more lazy than they do fun and exciting. I do really respect this guy a lot. I feel like he's obviously got great balance of discipline and creativity, of conscientiousness and openness, but just about everything about this album is just not for me. It's maybe a four out of ten. Like I said, it, it is very raw. It is very rough around the edges. So it reminds me of the album It Still Moves in that way, although I'd much prefer that one. But if you like that album, maybe you'll like this one. Do let me know what you think of Jim James's music and uh, what's your favorite My Morning Jacket record. I'm curious about that as well. So as always, thank you so much for watching.